All right, Lucas, another uh, finish for you there. Um, talk to me. How, how impressed were or how uh, happy were you with your performance there? Uh, I, was, I was super stoked. I was super stoked. Um, it didn't go. He was a little harder, a little more durable, I guess, in the first round than uh, some of my previous opponents have been. He was a little tougher to really like get, get working on anything. And uh, he had a good game plan. Anytime, anytime I was trying to get to a certain position, he was timing me very well. And uh, he was tough. I was able to get not the finish I was looking for, but a finish. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. Absolutely. Was that the game plan coming in, uh, take the fight to the mat, kind of soften him up like that? Uh, absolutely. Um, I was looking for his back a good couple times with, uh, with that lock up there. Um, and I eventually, any time, three or four times straight, I went to take his back, and he timed it real well so that when I did, he'd be able to turn me. Uh, so I just I kind of just held it and kept finishing there. Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was good. I'm happy with, uh, with how it went. Did you have a chance to talk with your dad yet? What did he think? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, he was happy. Really, yeah. that, that's what I, I heard from him. Uh, we kind of got ran over here a little bit, so we haven't really talked about it. Um, I'd like to really watch it actually before I really go in depth on anything. I might be totally wrong about what I said, but uh, but it was it, it was good. I'm happy with it. He seemed uh, happy with it. Just gonna go to Ben and Jerry's and enjoy with whatever happened. <laughs> and I know you've talked about this before, but uh, do you feel any extra added pressure being the son of somebody that was a successful MMA fighter? Or does he like not really put that type of pressure on you? He tries really hard not to put that pressure on me. Um, I, I don't, um, just because it's not like it'd be different. I think if I was like um, like the the Gazalis, right? His dad still fights on his cards, so I'm sure they go home and have a little bit of. I finished him before you did, blah, blah, blah. You have chores to do, and they have that whole thing. Uh, you know, he retired forever ago, so we're not too, uh, I don't feel anything weird about it. Um, we have a weird lineage with me and him, as my last few fights were at the Windstar, that's where his last two were. This is where his last UFC fight was 18 years ago. And so it's, it's weird, but uh, it is cool, it is cool. Lucas, congratulations, Sorry. man. Um, I mean, were you surprised it wasn't stopped a little earlier? You know, you, you got a lot of strikes in there. Not, not necessarily. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get weird and look at the ref and ask if he should stop it. But I also knew some of them weren't landing flush because his arm was blocking it. A little were a little high, and some were a little low. And so I, uh, I wanted him to, you know, call the finish real quick before you know those punches started getting a little slower, <laughs> a little slower. But uh, uh, no, I wasn't too surprised with it. I was. I'm happy with the stoppage. And this is the first time we've seen you out of the first round in your young professional career. Um, you know, you look good. You look good in there in the second round. And I'm sure you'd look good in there in the third round. You know, um, speak on just going further in your career and just, you know, working on your cardio, everything. Uh, I always train for three rounds uh, just because, you, you know, anything can happen, right, obviously. And, uh, and he turned out to be quite more durable, um, as, as I was saying, on the ground, uh, I thought, than he would be. Um, and did a very good job game planning. Um, he, had, he had a few good, really, really good guys in his corner. Nick Newell, obviously, is fantastic. And uh, they, they had good game planning. He was durable. And uh, um, I, I condition to do as many rounds as possible. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what happens, whatever. And you're only 20 years old. Do you ever just look back and think the craziness that you're, you know, a 3-0 and undefeated fighter in Bellator right now? Uh, I think about it every so often. I, I try not to uh, think too heavily on it. I don't want to get up here and I'm going to feed it at 20 years old and then go get killed in my next fight. And then I look like a douchebag, right? So I just, uh, I just you know, one at a time, I want to get through and I want to win, just continue to be uh, as successful as possible. And speak further on you and your father's relationship. Most people don't have their father as their head coach. Uh, it's, it's a great relationship. Um, we, he definitely has some input here and there. That's a little, uh, maybe a little different from what I'd like, or maybe from my uh, game plan, but I'm all, I also know, you know, he's had his black belt longer than I've been alive, you know, like since, since before I was a thing. And so, uh, there is a level of respect in there, but also I can give him a little bit of crap for it just cause he's my dad. Uh, not too much though. I'll have to go home and clean the whole house. So <laughs> it, it is what it is, but great relationship. We'll take one question from the internet. Randall Folks, your line is live. Hey, Lucas, great performance, man. Was there anything that Will did inside the cage that kind of surprised you? Um, his, um, oops, sorry. his groundwork uh, was actually much better than I was expecting. We didn't have a whole lot of film on that sort of thing. There's not a whole lot of um, information that you can study on him in that uh, regard. And um, I don't know, he, I thought he did a great job game planning. You know, a lot of guys either – bail straight to their back and try and get up that's like every single person's game plan except for me and like three other jiu-jitsu guys and so um you know he actually worked with me a little bit on the ground he was working position uh when we were on the wall um before i was able to get my takedowns he wasn't too worried about getting off he was worried about getting good position and so as a he played a little bit more with me grappling wise than i thought he would how fast would you like to get back in there um 
by, if there's another fight here by the end of the year that I can get on that's not uh, too, too soon, I'd be real happy with that. Um, so I'm definitely going to get fat after this. Uh, this camp was a good six to seven, six weeks longer than it typically would be this camp or this event was originally back in July. And I just kind of got pushed back because everything going on. And so uh, I've been in camp for a long time. I've been on a really strict diet for a long time. I'm going to go destroy that 24 hour Krispy Kreme upstairs and just uh, enjoy myself. And then I would like to get one more by the end of the year. I'd be happy with that. Excellent, man. Well, enjoy that poised fight meal. And we can't wait to see you back again. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha